embarked on a low-carb diet, I thought it meant I would have to give up the rich chocolate treats I used to love to bake and eat. So you can imagine my delight and surprise to discover that chocolate itself is very low carb. It's just what we add to it that makes it not so good for us. Hi, I'm Carolyn from All Day I Dream About Food, and today we're gonna make some of those rich chocolate treats. We're making keto chocolate zucchini muffins. As you might imagine, the first step to making zucchini muffins is to prep your zucchini. Now in this bowl, I have a sieve and it is filled with grated zucchini. I just took a medium zucchini and I grated it on a box grater like this. And then I put it in my sieve and I sprinkled it with salt, mixed the salt in a little, and I've let it drain for about one hour. So now we need to squeeze out as much moisture as possible so we don't end up with soggy zucchini muffins. I personally like to just do this by hand and squeeze the zucchini. You can put it in a rag or a tea towel and squeeze it out that way. But I usually just get my hands right in there and squeeze it through the sieve. And you can see here, after a minute or two of squeezing, I've managed to reduce the volume of the zucchini by about half. This is maybe a cup and a half of really well-drained squeezed zucchini. And you can see just how much moisture came out of it as well. So I'm gonna work on my dry ingredients and here I have two cups of almond flour. Now, if you wanna make these nut free, you could easily do sunflower seed flour or pumpkin seed flour instead. Next, I'm going to add half a cup of sweetener. This is Swerve Granular. If you wanna make your muffins a little sweeter, I'd go up to two thirds, maybe three quarter cup. And I have one third cup of cocoa powder and I'm going to add a quarter cup of protein powder. I'm actually trying to make these dairy free, so this is just egg white protein powder. Now, a lot of readers ask me if they can skip the protein powder. You can, but in the absence of gluten, protein powder helps baked goods rise and hold their shape. And so you're gonna find that your muffins or your cake is a little denser and not quite as fluffy if you skip it. And we're going to add two teaspoons of baking powder. And finally, a little additional salt. You only want about a quarter teaspoon because you've already salted the zucchini that you're gonna add in. And we'll whisk together our dry ingredients and break up any clumps. And now we're going to add our wet ingredients. I have three large eggs. And I'm going to add in some oil. I have avocado oil here to keep these dairy free. You could do melted coconut oil if you wish, or you could do melted butter if you don't need to be dairy free. But I have one third cup and I'm gonna add that in. And then I'm gonna add in my zucchini. And I'm gonna break everything up and mix it together as best I can. And once that's well combined, I'm going to add a little additional liquid. How much you add really depends on how wet your zucchini was. So you can see it's pretty thick still. So I'm going to add a little leftover coffee because I like the way coffee brings out the chocolate flavor. You could easily just add water. I'm gonna add about a quarter cup. And that's looking really great now. You can see it's a lot more like cake batter, a little more fluid. I'm going to now add a little vanilla, about half a teaspoon. And we're gonna add our chocolate chips. I have a third cup of dark chocolate chips here. And now we can just add our batter to our muffin tin. And I have lined my muffin tin with silicone liners. I tend to like those best. Parchment works well too. I definitely don't recommend the regular paper liners because your muffins will really stick to them. So we'll just add our batter right in and try to divide it up as evenly as you can. Now I should point out that this recipe actually makes more than your standard 12 muffins. It may make 16, it might even make 17 or 18, depending on how you scoop your batter. And I love big batches of muffins because they're great for meal planning. Honestly, you can freeze these just as easily as you could with anything and you'll have 16, 17 muffins for easy keto breakfasts. One final thing I like to do is take a few extra chocolate chips and sprinkle them on the top of each muffin. Okay, our chocolate zucchini muffins are ready for the oven. They're gonna go in at 350 for about 20 to 30 minutes. Well, would you look at that, my friends? Gorgeous keto chocolate zucchini muffins fresh out of the oven. Let's take one of these puppies and break them open and see how they look. Ooh, they're still warm. Oh God, they smell good. 
Mmm. For this chocolatey delicious keto recipe and so many more, please check out alldayidreamaboutfood.com.